Preparing for the agent-assisted BISBO sale process before you list your home is a prerequisite for success. You may be asking, can't I just list my property and deal with questions or issues as they arise? Unfortunately, being unprepared is a recipe for disaster. This is because selling real estate is all about momentum. Once you list, you can't afford to delay the sale process while you figure out how everything works and try to track down missing documents or information that buyers are asking for. Here's a good example. Let's say you're selling a condo. You receive an offer, negotiate, and come to an agreement on price. Once there's an accepted offer, you realize you don't have a copy of the building's financials or offering plan. Because the buyer cannot sign the contract until the buyer's attorney has reviewed these documents, your deal stalls as you search for these materials. Lo and behold, the buyer eventually backs out of your deal and buys a different property because you took too long and they assumed you weren't a serious seller. Here's another good example. Let's say you're selling a co-op. A highly interested buyer shows up to your open house and falls in love with the property. They want to submit an offer on your unit, but before doing so, they ask to see a five-year history of your co-op's monthly maintenance bill. They also want to review the building's alteration agreement, since they plan on doing some renovation work at the apartment. You realize you don't have any of this information. As you spend the next few days hunting everything down, the buyer informs you that they already received and accepted an offer on another apartment. If you are selling a condo or a co-op, here are the documents you should assemble before listing your property. Offering plan, last two years of building financials, purchase and sublet applications, house rules, alteration agreement and decorative writer. For a co-op, you should request the annual tax deduction letter, sublet policy including fees and the building policy for pied a terres, co-purchasing, parents buying for children and guarantors. You should also be prepared for the other common information requests from buyers, including five-year maintenance or common charge history, current and recent building assessments, history of building capital improvement projects. For example, when was the last time the roof, boiler, facade, and elevator were upgraded? If you're selling a house, you should be prepared to address any outstanding Department of Building violations or issues with your home's certificate of occupancy. It's also a good idea to choose a real estate attorney before you list your home. This will prevent any delays from the time of an accepted offer to when you circulate a deal sheet to the buyer and both attorneys. Just remember, any delays will kill momentum and put your entire sale process at risk. Feeling overwhelmed? If you prefer to have a traditional listing agent handle your sale, you may wish to consider Housit's 1% full service listing option. To learn more, please email, text, or call us. For more insider tips and tricks about the sale process, subscribe to our channel and visit our blog and forum at www.housit.com.